Things are going pretty good. Uh, I'm running with the uh, ones and twos, uh, so I'm getting uh, eight reps instead of four a piece. So uh, the coaches are kind of doing that to get me in shape, I guess. Um, I think I'm doing a lot better from day one. Uh, day one, it was kind of a drag because I was running eight plays. Like I said, it was it was kind of getting to me, but every day is getting easier and easier. So I'm getting pretty. I'll be there by the time the season starts. As days go on, even from it's from day one, my confidence is just is rising. I'm never making the same mistake twice. I'm always, if it's if it's a mistake I'm making, it's a different mistake instead of the mistake I was just coached on. So, for sure. Been- Since day one, I was out here in June. I got writing it. I was in Blaney's office, and uh, we we went over expectations of what what he expects from me and what I expect out of myself. And from day one, I learned half the playbook through the summer, and then in fall camp, I learned most of it now. So. Do you have like a system down in terms of picking up so much knowledge so quickly? What's I mean? Um, I want to play. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I want to play. I want to play now. So, you know, and I know if you don't know your playbook, you won't be out there. And so my, my main focus was to learn that playbook and learn it to the best of my ability. First place. Um, first first day, uh, they, I believe they were in Dallas for for a camp or something like that, or recruiting. The next the second day, he were out here. He sat down, he talked to me, he told me what he expected, and I told him I wanted to be the best left tackle in the Big 12, and he said that we'll work together to make that goal. So that's where we've been at right now. I mean, obviously, we uh, all got early experience, Mm -hmm. and uh, experience is huge in this game, especially in the offensive line. So just having that experience now and knowing what game tempo looks like and what the competition in the Big 12 is, you know, what level that's at, uh, just being ready and prepared for that. Well, you said it's, it's a mindset, so you know you're going and, and each play you're like, you know your assignment, and you can get it done, or you can do it and you can destroy the guy. You know you can drive him into the ground. You can take those extra few steps. You can, yeah. you know, take that linebacker on a ride versus just kind of walking up to him and and getting the block done. You know, so it's just going above and beyond and being more physical and playing with that you know nasty mindset. Uh, I I mean I'd love to you know uh, I go out and try my hardest every day and uh, you know if it happens it happens and having great expectations you know that's that's part of it you know you want to push yourself to yeah exceed those expectations you know the best you can do and I'd love to achieve that but uh, we'll see we have all kinds of evaluation systems but basically it's just constant communication uh, asking you how you feel after after a practice you know whether they need to back you off in a few reps here and there, um, basically, basically that. Some pretty simple stuff like that. It's, it's been great for me because even w- when I was out of the mix, I was still in it with them. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in that meeting room. So I sit by Campos every day and ha- have pretty much since he's got here. You know, uh, and all these other younger guys too. Same thing, talking to him every day. Um, and I mean, even though they're young, they're they're so anxious to learn, and they're, and they're, they come prepared every day, and they don't feel afraid to ask me any questions or any other older guys any questions. So, so uh, those young guys' learning curves is is pretty quick with with us old guys in that offensive line. Can-